five digits, use the, these each digit once to complete his calculation. Now, it's a little bit of a harder question. Uh, essentially, we just need to logically do it. Now, if I put a uh, three here, I know if I'm going to be times it by two, this one here must be six. I just randomly chose a three. Um, so let's, so I've got three, I've got a six. Let me just put, if I put one there, then that means this must be a two, but I can't have that option. If I put a five here, then this must be a 10. Oh, that works. So if I put a five here, this must be a 10. That works. That's one example. Let's try something else. Let's say I put a, you've got to think about doubles and halves. So if I doubled one, there's no two. If I doubled three, I'll do six, which I've got. Six, if I doubled that, I've got 12. I might be able to put a five here. Let's see if that works. Because if I put a five here, then that means I have to put a one and a zero there. Okay. Which means, oh, which means I can put a three here and three doubled is six. Okay. But obviously that doesn't work because if three is here doubled to six, it actually has to be there to make that seven. So this is not the correct answer. And there's no other way I can do this.